Now, if you've seen any of my live streams in the past, you would probably see me playing GeoGuessr. Now, GeoGuessr is a game where you basically get dropped into a random place in Google Maps, and you gotta guess where you are. You know, with the street view function where you could go down basically any street. I love playing this game because it brings out your geography skills to try to guess where you are, no matter where you can be, no matter if the map is for a specific city or for the whole world. And that got me thinking about Google Maps itself. I mean, if you think about it, Google Maps is one of the most important technological advancements that we have on this earth. I mean, what resource other than Google Maps lets you look at wherever you want in this world, drop into some random street in the world, lets you look at a satellite view of every single inch of this earth. I better not see anyone bring up this monstrosity. And Google Maps is something that we really take for granted. Only a few decades ago would this idea would have been impossible. But now we have this resource. From anywhere, Google Earth and Google Maps are all in a database, meaning that you can access it from your smartphone, your computer, you don't have to download any software, and you can get directions to places that you are actually gonna go, which is very useful when you don't know where you're going. And you can also drop into a place that you're probably never gonna go, like Manitoba. I don't know why I said specifically Manitoba, but probably not gonna go to Manitoba. And I've spent hours looking at random places on Google Maps. I mean, that's basically what I do. I mean, I built a new computer a little bit ago with a good GPU, yet all I really do is look at Google Maps. If I'm on my computer, I'm usually watching YouTube and looking at Google Maps, because that's basically my form of entertainment that I have. I usually explore two places, America and Japan. Why? Because I live in America and I used to live in Japan. You see the pattern? I usually look at those two places because it's familiar places. And I've been looking at Google Maps for a long time. I think most of us have. But do you remember the first time you ever went on Google Maps? I think this comedian perfectly shows the thing we do when we first look at Google Maps. And you sit in front of the computer and you think, I can go anywhere, anywhere in the world. Where shall I go? And we all come to the same conclusion, my house. <laughs> Even though you're in your house, it would be far easier just to get up, walk outside of your house, and look at your house. A live 3D image of your own building. I remember my dad got passed by the Google Street View car, and he came back home saying, hey, look, and we looked at Google Maps, and there he was. It was crazy. You know, spotting the Google Street View car in real life has a whole nother feeling to it, especially if you're outside and you get shown onto the camera. I've seen the Google Street View car multiple times. One time it was parked in a Don Quixote, which is a Japanese store, which was kind of weird. I guess the guy wanted to shop. I don't know. Imagine being the guy driving the Google Street View car. Your job is just going down random residential houses. Like I said, I explore a lot of places. So when I explore places such as Canada, specifically rural Canada, some of the street views are very old. I don't know why, but very rural areas have not been covered recently, which is very weird. Like, if you go to some random place in middle of nowhere Alaska, the last time it's been there was like 2012, which you would think that rural places like that would have not been covered back then in more recently, but it's the opposite, which is weird because Google has probably expanded their services, you know, more now than back then. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button. It is currently the 25th, and I want to try to reach a thousand subs by the end of the year. And if we do that, it will be very good. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye.